A Gerard de Olofeo hat-trick powered Catalonia to a 6-0 thrashing of Jamaica's reggae boys in a friendly game in Spain on Wednesday. Uh, the former Barcelona man took just four minutes to open the scoring and added his other goals in the 29th and 45th minutes to put the Catalans folded up at half time. The route was completed in minute 89 by Javi Puado, who scored from the penalty spot. This was the Reggae Boys' third defeat in their last five games. The match was being used by, well, it was used by interim head coach Paul Hall to continue his assessment of available talent. Hall, of course, is preparing the team for upcoming Nations League matches against Suriname on June 4 away and June 7 in Kingston before tackling Mexico on June 14. The Reggae Boys have another international friendly that's set for June 11 against Uruguay. All right, so if we look at the starting 11 for the Reggae Boys, Mr. Producer, we can just, just update the viewers on the players who took the field for Paul Hall's men. So Dylan Barnes uh, in goal, Jamoy Topi, Joel Latibodier, Ajini Talbot, Ricardo Thomas, Tariq Zimenez, Ramon Howell, Jordan Cousins, Omari Hutchinson. Junior Flemings was captain on the night. And one of the new boys in the Reggae Boys set up, Johnson Clark Harris. He plays for Peterborough in England. They call them Posh. Uh, he played in that game. He's a striker. The substitutes, uh, Campbell, Akasa Chung, Britt, uh, Blair Turgot, Lacey, Tariq McGee, Kahim Paris, and today are the men who played for the Reggae Boys. So starting 11 and substitutes. 6-0 uh, yeah. against Catalonia. Doesn't look good on paper. Right. Because, but, but, but Catalonia are strong with the players, the individuals that they have at their disposal. Exactly, because one of the headlines, you know, when I was reading, one of the player, former Barcelona player, you know, coming from top, top systems. So let me start. So I'm going to rewind. Initially, the score 6-0, George, you will think that, all right, the reggae boys, you know, it's a very disappointing performance, and rightfully so. It was a disappointing performance. The numbers don't lie. However... Um, and I'm happy that you read out the 11. Um, you can't really be too hard on the team because if you look at the names, a lot of the names aren't very familiar names unless you were following, you know, the lower team, not the senior team that we're used to representing Jamaica over and over. So what we have to keep in the back of our mind, it's probably the first time or the second time that this unit would have been playing as a team. You know, so they had to get accustomed to each other because I feel as if many of the names would not have played with each other before. So that score, you know, as much as we want to say it was a disappointing performance, we just have to keep that in the back of our mind. However, one positive, Tariq McGee, when he came on, you know, he, I felt there were some positive attributes from him, just his um, technical skill and whatnot. So that's the only positive thing I could just say from the match. Mm. Um, the point that you made, Mariah, is well taken about uh, uh, it was a pickup team. That's really what it was because Coach Paul Hall wants to see some new players. Having said that, because Jamaica doesn't have a philosophy for football and uh, how the teams are structured decade after decade, these things will happen because I could counter the point that you've just made by suggesting that this Catalonia selection is also a, a group that didn't play together either. That's why I said system. They yeah, have but, a proper so, system. But they were very efficient because they play at a high level and their, their culture and understanding of football is superior to the, the Jamaican setup. A high quality team it was, La Liga players, players mm -hmm. who play in Syria and so on, so uh, it was a mismatch. Disappointingly though was the performance of the Jamaican defense. Some of those goals were absolutely horrendous. The complete misunderstanding and you know, hogwash defending. Um, giving up uh, uh, some of the goals. Uh, Zimin is the, the teenager was substituted, I think, after 10 minutes. I mm -hmm. don't know if, well, clearly he probably had an injury or something. So it was a very patchy effort by the Jamaica reggae boys. Um, understandably, as Mariah said, several players on debut for Jamaica, mm -hmm. a, a, a unit that had never played together as a, as a group before, and up against a high-quality group of players, they just couldn't, couldn't manage. How does captaincy look on Junior Flemings? I wanted to hear your take on that. No, um, he and the whole team struggled. What is true is that, and this is the benefit of hindsight, yeah? The Catalan trip was a waste of time. If you throw a, a, a squad of players that that squad of players has never been assembled before, 
clearly the starting eleven had never played before. In fact, there All may be there may be before. well that's not playing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it was just probably two days. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, a, uh, maybe from the starting eleven, four of those players have played together before, but the rest of them never. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So in hindsight, the performance was weak. It was anemic. The, the, the Catalan team took pity on us in the second half. Yeah, the no fight. Um, Mariah said Tariq McGee was a, a, a bright spark, but Tariq McGee in that game didn't show anything we've not seen from him before. But that's just to tell yeah? you how bad the rest. There you go. So I'm saying this was a grand waste of time because he learned nothing new about the players, Paul Hall. The confidence that the players, the, the, the hit to the confidence that the players would have taken, damaging. And a week for, and a half before Concacaf Nations Exactly, yeah. absolutely. And we say we have no philosophy, which is true. Brand Jamaica football. Brand Jamaica football. Nobody who watched this game from the stands thinks that there's such a thing as a good Jamaica football team. If this is what represents the national team that plays in FIFA-sanctioned events, of course, Catalonia doesn't then clearly Jamaica is not good at football. They may be good at sprinting and other things or not. So it was a bad advertisement for Jamaica's football. Paul Hall learned nothing about his players and none of the players did themselves credit. So it was a grand waste of time and it's difficult to be able to, to, to say these things because when you organize those friendlies as the JFF did and you, you fly players about from all parts to Catalonia, put them in camp, everything costs money. You look at the investment and you're saying, well, this time we didn't get our money's worth. Mm. And it's a shame. Mm -hmm. Yeah, It's a shame. Any I think player that... Go ahead. Go ahead. I just wanted to know if it had any players no. that you saw that we could mm. even use. Not no, no, no. Clearly they'll have better days, the players, when they are part of a stronger collective. Yes. And when even these players together, if they had the benefit of more than one training session or two training sessions, yeah? Because there's no doubt that they are individually talented players. And that's not their argument, yeah? What is true is that the, the, the circumstances that brought them there, the amount of preparation time they had, and then the display and the things that, the instructions that they weren't able to carry out, it was bad. It was yeah. really, really bad. And Jamaica's football would have been better off had we not played this game. Yeah, I think the only good point about that is that it wasn't a list A international, which means that it won't count as far as the world rankings are concerned Maybe because the Jamaicans, uh, the Jamaicans have been you know, a, a, a leading CONCACAF team in FIFA rankings, and that result, fortunately for them, won't be populating the computerized ranking systems. Yeah, That's and why the experiment was done. <laughs> it doesn't count. But, yeah, but, but, but <laughs> psychologically, <laughs> if, if we have 20 seconds, my producer, we, we, could, tell, we could tell the viewers, yeah. in case they're wondering, because we, are, we always have to be mindful that there are people watching who need information like that. Catalonia, it's a region in Spain, uh, in Barcelona, to be precise. Mm -hmm that they have long pushed for independence. And those of you who follow international news would know a name called Carlos Puigdemont. He was the de facto leader of the Catalan region. Uh, they struck out for independence in the same way that Scotland tried to do from the UK. They instituted a vote that was illegal. Then he had to flee into exile. A couple of the, his other collaborators fled as well. They were imprisoned. He was in exile in Belgium. He came back. He's being tried. And so Catalonia is not an autonomous region in Spain as they want to. But they have their own language. They have their own currency there. They operate like an enclave unto themselves. Mm -hmm. Because their football history is so rich, because the Catalonia national team has been around since 1900, the year 1900. Mm -hmm. And they've had guest players play for them, players who aren't of Spanish nationality, mm -hmm. including the Dutchman Johan Nieskens and Johan Cruyff. The fact is that they have a rich history and the Barcelona area is talent rich. So as Lance noted, some of the players who turned out for them in that friendly against the reggae boy are really top shelf players. Some of them have been at the top level, others are on their way there. So it's not a sanctioned football international because Catalonia are not recognized by FIFA because they're not an independent state. Right? Yeah, so take them to a break now. Well, still to come on today's show, a look at the latest from the Cricket West Indies 4-Day Championship. We also have giveaways in our interactive segment, so ensure you stick around for that. But next, tennis. Who will win the French Open? That discussion after the break.
stay with Sportsmax on YouTube and follow us on all social pages for updates, news and entertainment.